Hello, I am Mal, and welcome back to Wasteland 2 Director's Cut. Okay, let me do my, my quick little spiel about the guides real quick, folks. <laughs> if you need to learn how to play the game, or you want recommendations on how to build your team for Wasteland 2, or any of such thing like that, I will put a link right here with the playlist for that. So, if, you, if you're looking for Wasteland 2 information in the form of a guide, there's your ticket. Alright, so let's continue where we left off. We, uh, we've been investigating what's, what happened to Ace. We know that he was killed uh, by a synthetic. We recovered the radio repeaters. We've now returned to the Ranger Citadel. We should be able to get in now. Let's talk to uh, Grenadier Major Nur and find out. Sorry, recruits. The General hasn't given me permission to let you in yet. Come back after you've got some help. Oh, okay. I didn't remember correctly, so we actually have to go and handle what's going on in the Ag Center or High Pool. I had forgotten that. Okay, fair enough. Let's take a look at our equipment real quick. Uh, how are we doing on ammo? Uh, I think we're fine. Yeah, I think we're, we're okay. I think, uh, well, actually we could use some more we could use some more 556 five, NATO. Okay, hold on. Let's see if she's got some for sale over there. I think she did. For some reason, I was thinking after the uh, getting the radio repeaters, I was thinking we got access to the Ranger Citadel. Well, you know, my memory's not flawless. The biggest thing about getting access to the Ranger Citadel the inside is the Quartermaster, because you can strip down. Uh, weapons with uh, weaponsmithing and the parts sell for a lot there. That's the biggest thing. Okay, so let's see. Uh, ammo, ammo. Yeah, she's got some 556. Five, okay, so let's go ahead and grab all of her 556 five, ammo. And let's go ahead and grab her other med kit. Uh, do we want anything else from her? Armor? I mean, two armor's better than no armor. Yeah, I'm gonna buy that. Okay, so, thank you very much. And let's go ahead and put that on. Equip that. There we go. Oh, sorry, it was this slot. That's the clothing slot. So now we've got two armor. That's nice. Better than nothing. Yeah, and I'm putting it on my uh, leader uh, because he's armed with a shotgun and the most likely to get hit. Yeah, so. All right, let's see. Let's give you the ammo. And let's split this a little bit. Let's see. Um, How much do I want to give her? Let's give her like 25 rounds. So she's got 37. Let's look at her skills real quick. Why are you carrying those med packs? There's no reason for you to that I can think of. No, let's move those over here. Okay, so we've got seven pocket med kits that only require a one field medic, so that's nice. And we have seven trauma kits. We, we should be fine. Yeah, we shouldn't have any problems. No, I don't think so. I think we're good. We've got suture kits so we can stop bleeding. We've got anti-venom. We're in relatively good shape. Yep, okay. Let's head out then. So now the big decision is, do I head north, which is really kind of in advance of really the way the story goes. Uh, I could head to the Real Nomads camp and there are recruitable NPCs up there that I can get right now uh, because I have high enough charisma which is what it's based on. So I've got a six charisma. Um, and if you take that plus the rest of the group, because it's your it's the team, including any followers you have, I might add, um, as long as you meet that threshold, and some NPCs don't even have one, you can just recruit them regardless, uh, then you can add them to the team, which makes you tougher. Um, I guess I could go north to the Rail Nomad camp and pick up Ralphie. Um... Hmm. It does make sense to do that, because then he would be gaining experience. You know what? Let's do that. I've, I have never done it that way before, but I want to give it a whirl. 
And I already have some low-level radiation protection, so it shouldn't be that big a deal to do it. Okay, so if we look at the map, storyline-wise, you're supposed to head south and either go to the Ag Center or High Pool, but instead, we're going to head up to the Real Nomads Camp. Now, this would be pretty perilous to attempt if I didn't already have some radiation protection, but I do. Now, you could suffer through it. Now, see, I'd be taking all kinds of damage, but I, again, I have radiation protection. Uh, level two, that is. Let's see, let's... The son of the hammer will strike against the daughter of stars, and redbirds will fly out of the east and destroy Vegas in a night. Oh, you don't say. Alright, now that's a weapons cache. We'll go ahead and loot that, because there's no reason not to. We get here. Navy revolver, some scrap. Hey, that was pretty nice. Alright, we'll take all that. Good, nice find. Now, as we go through level 3 radiation, we will take damage. It's gonna happen, so... But, we want to get to the Rail Nomad camp, so we're gonna do it. Took a little bit of damage, we're okay. But its child waits to the east. The mad eyed charlatans worship at the altar of an empty faith, but their salvation is on another track. Okay, real nomads camp, let's go. Hey, all, this is Libby Parker. If anybody's seen my Ralphie, tell him to get his butt home. He didn't finish his chores this morning. Oh, okay. Will do. Alright, so let's take a look here. Nope, not much not much exposed. Alright. So let's see. Let's move up towards the Rail Nomad camp. Sign reads, no trespassing. Atchkins will be shot on sight. So the storyline here um is that uh there's essentially two tribes that used to, the rail nomads used to maintain a train line and an actual running train, which was kind of a big deal for commerce or whatnot. These two tribes are actually uh, the Topekans, at the yeah, something like that, and the Atchinsons have been sort of at war for years. That's kind of the, the situation you run into when you come up here. We're not going to get involved in that right now, because there's no reason to. <laughs> Population sign went down. That's funny. Oh, okay. Now, let's talk to this girl, Jessie, that's trying to get our attention. Please, strangers. My friend Ralphie's in the lake. He can't swim back to shore. All right. Please hurry. The lake is this way. Okay, the lake is this way. We gotta go save Ralphie. All right. Let's go. Help! Help! I'm drowning! Here. Ralphie's on, on the other side of the we bridge. We gotta help that kid. Please, help him. All right, we're going. We're going. We got it. I can't stay here. Please, someone! I can't swim! Okay, so you've got a choice here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and knock this one down. Come on, Ralphie. Please, be okay. Just need help! Failure? Uh-oh. Go, 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 go! All right, so you Thanks knock the pole down. Saving me, strangers. Have you seen my my friend Jessie? She couldn't save me, so she ran to get help. Yeah, she's near town. Uh oh, I gotta tell my mom I'm okay, but I better go find Jessie after. She's my my friend. We came here because no one likes to come down to the lake anymore, and we thought we could be alone. <laughs> we were playing a uh, tag. I lost my footing and fell into the lake. All right. When Kekaba found out, he killed an Atchison and decorated a totem pole with his bones as a warning to the rest of them. After that, the lake went bad. Nobody knows why. Yeah, dead bodies Bye, tend to do that. And thanks again. You bet, Ralphie. Okay, so when you come up here, you actually have the option to also knock down this one. Now, it's a lower percentage chance to do it, in the director's cut version, it didn't used to be like that, and it didn't used to have this decoration on it, so they've kind of made it easier, which is nice. 
Um, because what can happen is if you uh, knock this one down, it actually like hits him in the head and he drowns and dies. So yeah, <laughs> just just something to bear in mind. Okay, so this water looks clean. Let's go ahead and stock up. Ah, and you can see right here, I've got a flashing bar, which means, and I've got my ranger star over my leader's face, meaning that I gained a level. Now, why is it, uh, why did he level up and not the others? Well, because he has um, a higher level of charisma, he's getting um, minus, yeah, oh, here we go. He's getting, how much is it? I'm trying to remember how, what each one is. I want to say he's getting... Uh, let's see, three is the default, so at this point he's getting like plus 15% XP because of his charisma, if memory serves me correctly. Yeah. So, your leader, which makes sense, your leader's always going to be ahead in level, and since the level is attached to essentially your ranger's rank, which you can see here, he's a senior specialist, um, it makes sense, right? Because he's the one in charge. What, what's this guy doing? What did he say? Amazing. The ranger saved Mrs. Parker's boy. Oh, okay. Hey, can I get in there? And how do I get in there? Aha! How come I don't have the option... Hmm. How come her option to hit the brute... Oh, it's 0%. That's why. Okay. Well, we won't be getting that right now. Now, remember... This area is is not. Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, you're not supposed to come here right away. So like one of the one of the issues is gonna be there's a guy up here, this Topekin, and he is hurt. And I don't think we're gonna have a high enough surgeon skill to do anything for him. As a matter of fact, a couple of different things up here that are skill based that I'm a little worried about. Mm-hmm. That are gonna affect the 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 outcome of the potential story here. So be forewarned, I haven't done this particular deal before coming to the Rail Nomad camp early and not having the you know the requisite skills to handle it. Yeah, because we have to go up here into town and talk to Ralphie's mother if we want to pick him up as an NPC follower. But okay. Uh hmm. So you got two things. Over here to the right, Jesse's next to this bicycle that's got uh, an explosive that's been attached to it by that warring faction. Actually, it's ironically her own faction. Yeah, I don't really want to mess with that. Okay, I'm going to try to avoid any triggering of that. Now, this guy, let's talk to him. I need some help. I think I need a doctor. I can see my own bones. Okay, so I don't think we're going to be able to do much for this guy, but we can try. Oh, it's impossible. Really? Zero percent chance, huh? Yeah, okay. Well, we'll just have to avoid that. Now, I don't know if later on if this guy will still be here and I'll be able to trigger this or not. But this is a positive uh, sort of social interaction that you get with the, uh, the two factions, as is disarming this over here. So... Again, when you come over to this area, I might be spoiling this for myself. I, I don't really know. Okay, is this Ralphie's house? Uh, Nope, that's... I'm disturbing somebody's dinner is what I'm doing there. Okay, we don't want to do that. <laughs> Let's go. Come on, exit. What's going on? Did they change the way that works? Yeah, there we go. Uh, Ralphie's house is one of these. Ranger saved Ralphie. Yes, we did. Okay, let's go talk to his mother, Libby. Oh, Rangers! I heard what you did for my Ralphie. Thank you. You bet. I would give you gold if I had it, but all I have is this old apple. Well, I could give you my boy. You want to give us your son? I know it sounds heartless, Rangers, but I can't feed him in this godforsaken place. With the train not running, nobody around here is making a living. Taking Ralphie would be a kindness to me and him. 
and he's awfully handy with a slingshot. He could help you. What do you say? Will you take my Ralphie and make a ranger out? Uh, yes, we will take him. Oh, thank you. Now come along, Ralphie. Gee, that's great. This place is nice and all, but I'd rather be out having adventures with you. All right, so let's take a look at Ralphie, shall we? Now, he's not, um, like a permanent member of the group. I'll take him now. I will probably swap him out for a different NPC later, but there's no harm um, in, in bringing him now. He gives us a, an extra person to carry stuff and help in combat and carry, you know, some different skills for us. So let's see, what does he get? Uh, let's see, three coordination, five luck. Okay, so that's a wasted stat, unfortunately. Four awareness, four strength, five speed, three intelligence, four charisma. Well, okay, relatively balanced. Skills, five toaster repair. Well, that's nice, so now we know we can go back over and open up that toaster uh, by the radio tower, so we will do that for sure. Uh, animal Whisperer, you know, a lot of people swear by this, sort of like, you know, it's essentially animal taming. I've never, I don't like it, I just don't like the skill. Um, which is odd, because I, I like games where I can have, like, a little pet follower or whatever, but for some reason in this game I've never gotten into it. So, I, I could see it being useful, um, since you can turn, uh, creatures to assist you, um, but it's just not my bag. And then he has Brawling. Okay. That works. He's got 74 con, so he's pretty beefy. His AP is a little low at 7. Yeah, and his combat initiative is not that great. Generally, you want a 12 or higher, kind of as a minimum. But it's not terrible. His combat speed's good, so he can move fast. Okay, I like it. Let's see. Perks. Yeah, I still need to do perks. He's got Junk Diver, huh? Upon finding junk items, 50% chance of finding another junk item. Nice! Interesting. Now, so he has this by default. I wonder if going forward we'll be able to pick his perks. I would think that we would. Yeah. Should. Alright, now. Uh, oh, we all leveled up. Great! Okay. Uh, is there anything in here that we can loot? Nope. Okay. So let's go outside, and we'll go ahead and do the level up process. Okay, so since we can all get promoted, we're going to go ahead and do that. Now, I'm trying to remember, uh, I think on promotion, you do get a heal on lower difficulties. I don't know if that applies to Ranger or or Supreme Jerk. Uh, hold on, let me... Yeah, uh, I'm on Supreme Jerk difficulty, so I'm not sure, but let's call in and find out. Copy, Echo One. This is Ranger. Echo One, I'm happy to say several members of your team. Congratulations, Echo One. Uh, it does not. Okay, so I think on Rookie and on Seasoned difficulty, which is the, the first two levels, I'm pretty sure you get, uh, essentially, everybody gets healed for free when you do a level up. Now, the reason that's important is because uh, if you know you're going to be doing some fighting or if you're doing a bunch of fighting or suspect that you're going to, uh, go ahead and do your fights and get kind of all beat up and then even if you have a promotion, right? Just hold the promotion go through the the encounters that you need to and Then and then call in and get a free heal out of the deal, right? So then you don't have to waste medical supplies. Yeah So in our case um, I'm not gonna use any medical supplies until we get to about half health and then I will because We'll get the ability in the, you know, once we complete the, the accident or hypo, we'll get access to, uh, you know, free healing. So I kind of want to wait for that if I can. I don't want to waste medical supplies. Okay, now let's take a look at the map. I'm trying to remember. There is another recruitable character here. So we've got uh, Ralphie. Um, and then we can go get a character named Scotchmo. Yeah, and he's pretty decent, actually. Chopper one to base. Got Atchison sneaking along the western perimeter. Looks like they're up to no good. Ten four, Chopper one. Hang back till I get you some reinforcements. Where exactly are you at? Negative, Topeka base. Disregard, disregard. It was a couple of coyotes. False alarm. Uh, okay, Chopper one, and uh. Lay off those 
those squeezins for a while, all right? <laughs> Sorrows in a thousand aeons are drowned in the tides of vengeance. Oh, whatever. I don't want to hear your nonsense. All right, so let's see. So we came in. We saved Ralphie here. We went up to their house right here. Talked to Libby. We got him. Now we've come around. And then right over here, where all these hobos are, we should find Scotchmo. We should have high enough charisma in the group, because it's the total team charisma, to recruit him. And I'm not even 100% sure trying to remember if he has a uh, charisma requirement. I don't think he does. There he is. Particularly putrid smells emanates from this hobo. He smiles broadly. His eyes stare off into space. His hands hold a sign that reads, We'll kill for food. Oh, yeah? I used to be quite a fighter before they made the drink the squeezins. I always wanted to be a ranger. Can I join up? Like how he's got flies around his head? That's hilarious. <laughs> Finest drinking all the land. Uh, how do we say a, a man ain't never got to worry as long as he keeps his, his mind empty and his liver full. So, what do you say? Can I join up? So, he's basically always drunk, and if you have any snake squeezins on you, he will steal them. That's kind of the only downside to Scotchmo. But yeah, let's go ahead and grab him. You won't be sorry. Give me a gun and I'll, I'll kill whoever you want. Okay, so now we have three followers. So we've got our four core plus our three followers. If we pick up any other followers, we'll have to dismiss one of these. These three. And then obviously pick up the new one. Now, um, they did a recent patch, which I think fixed the issues with NPCs missing. Uh, but what should happen is any dismissed... Uh, NPC should be available for recruitment again in the Ranger Citadel. So you would just go back and pick up a different NPC if that's who you want. All right, does that make sense? Yeah, okay, I hope so. Now, there's other stuff that we can do in this area, um, but we're not going to. I don't. I don't want to spoil it. So we'll take a look at Scotchmo, and we hey, will. Wait, I'm gonna go dig up my secret stash. I'm gonna need some squeezes for the room. Uh, we're not gonna go dig up his stash right oh, now. Oh shoot, can't remember where I hid my juice. I'm gonna have to follow my nose. Yeah, we're not gonna do that right now. Well, I mean, I guess we can if it's close. Just depends on if it's on our way out or not. I think it's broken. Yeah, I agree with you. I think it is too, dude. Sorry about that. Can't help you out right now. Do, do, do. So let's head back out. There Fell was a... in there once. It's full of water. <laughs> Horrible. Is it? Is it full of water? There's some stuff to loot over here, I think. Yeah, right there. Okay, let's grab that. And then if I remember right, there's another lootable area. We'll grab that as we're leaving. Oh, nice. Okay, we'll take that. Anytime you get ammo, that's good times, right? Okay, right back. Is it over here? Yes, it is. Okay, so let's grab that. Don't worry, we're still doing the promotions. Oh, you see that bonus? That was from that uh, perk that Ralphie has. Anytime you get a piece of junk, you have a 50% chance of getting another piece of junk. It's pretty good. Yeah, stuff you can sell always helps out. All right, so before we leave the area, let's do these promotions and take a look at Scotchmo. So Scotchmo, what do you got here, buddy? Okay, he's got a shotgun. Nice, he's got some low-dose pain relievers. Yeah, we'll give those to someone else. He doesn't need those. Yep. Give that to the person that's functioning as our doctor right now. Okay, let's take a closer look. Six coordination, eight luck. Eight luck? Wow. That's a... Uh, I mean... You get a bonus chance to maybe get more constitution, and a bonus chance to get an additional action point in combat, but luck is pretty much considered a dump stat. A one awareness and a one charisma. Okay, what about skills? Well, six shotguns is good, and then two safe cracking and two lock picking. 
All right. So you could make this person, uh, if you wanted to keep him in your group for the entire game, you could make them your sort of rogue type character and then take safe cracking and lock picking to 10 and then pick up the perk Master Thief so that you don't get a failure. You'll never get a critical failure on a safe cracking or lock picking attempt. You could certainly do that. I'm not going to, but you could. Okay, so now let's go over here and spend our points. Now remember, we did have an extra point from the uh, shrine, and then it's ba how many points you get per level is based on your intelligence. So in this case, I have a four uh, intelligence, and therefore we'll get three skill points per level. Yep, okay, so I guess I had some saved points. Uh, what do I want to level up? Well, four points to go to the next level in leadership. I don't think I want to do that. I do, however, want to increase my social skills. So I'm going to increase my smart ass to three, my hard ass to three, and I'm going to take my shotguns to three. Yeah, I, I like that. That'll work. Let's go ahead and commit that. Every, uh, every 10 levels you get an attribute point, so we don't have to deal with that right now. Yeah, which would be over here. You'd get an available, where it says right here, available tribute point, and you'd assign it and lock that in as well. Now, I still have a perk remaining. I know that. I just want to give it a little bit more thought. I do have a sheet, you know, where I've kind of planned out most of the perks, not all of them. Um, but I'll, I'll, I'll deal with perks maybe at the beginning of the next video. We'll see. Okay, let's see. Eve. How many skill points do you have? Five. Now, I could dump four points and grab another assault rifle skill. Mm. Nah, I think I'll increase safe cracking and lock picking. Yep. Okay, so commit that. Let's go to bear. Uh, I think what I'll do here is I'll go ahead and put two points into demolitions and commit that. We'll save the other point, and then on the next level, we'll grab a four sniper rifles, because we'll get three skill points based on his intelligence. Yeah. Yep. So we'll pick up... No, actually, that's only two skill points, so we'll have to wait. Mm, well, that's what we'll do then. We'll save up until we get uh, four skill points, and then we'll go up probably in sniper rifles. Either that or weaponsmithing. I'll decide then. Okay, then we've got Christy. Five skill points. What do we want to put that in? Well, I, I could buy more field medic, but I don't need to because I'm going to go get a doctor. So I don't really need to. And I've got po I've got the pocket med kits that only require one field medic. So I think I'll just stick with that. So it could be mechanical repair or computer science. I know that in the Ag Center there are some computer science checks. So I think I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Yeah, a level four in computer science. And commit. And that's it for the level up. So now we're very, very early in the game. We have, uh, you know, higher tier weapons for our core four people. We already have three followers by coming to the Rail Nomad camp, so this ought to make going to the Ag Center, even on Supreme Jerk difficulty, pretty smooth. So when we come back, we will head to the Ag Center. I hope that you've enjoyed this so far, and if you have, consider hitting that thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I am Mal, myself and the monkeys, we'll see you later.